Good evening, everyone. We welcome you. Thank you for joining us this evening in the live stream. We're broadcasting live. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the live stream for the Best of Earth Awards. We're coming to you live from the Zeiss Großplanterium, part of the Stiftung Planterium Berlin. We're thrilled to have you joining us tonight from all over the world. We welcome you to the announcement for the winners of the 2021 Best of Earth Awards. And I'm sure that the creators, the producers, that everyone is very excited to see who has won the six awards. I know I am. Before I can reveal the winners, however, I would like to introduce the four Full Dome Festivals that are joining us all over the world this evening. They're coming to us from three different continents, and they have teamed up to curate and present the Best of Earth selection in their own programs. They are all joining us this evening, and I would like to introduce you to them now. And so I would like to first say hello to Dome Fest West in Los Angeles, California, in the United States. Hello from sunny California. This is Ryan Moore with Dome Fest West. We are extending our welcome and our best wishes to all of our partners around the world from Costa Mesa, California. We are so excited to be showing all of these amazing films at the Orange Coast College Planetarium here in our first year in Southern California. We invite all of our LA friends to come down and also at the same time, say thank you so much to everyone who attended their own festivals around the world. We celebrate with you in our hearts and under domes together. We wish you the absolute best of festivals and send a little bit of warm California sunshine your way. Hello, Full Dome UK in Plymouth, United Kingdom. Hello, uh, my name is Philip. I'm one of the co-founders of Full Dome UK, and I'd just like to say hello to Full Dome Festival Vienna, hello to Dome First West, hello to Dome Under. Uh, it's very exciting to be part of this best of earth, uh, worldwide collaboration of Full Dome Festivals. We can't be physically together, but we are together at the same time and in, our, in spirits. So have a great time at all of your festivals. Guten Abend, Full Dome Festival, Jena, Germany. Hey everyone, my name is Kate. I'm with the Full Dome Festival, Jena. And we are so, so happy and so excited to be able to team up with our colleagues from around the world to bring the best immersive content to you. So whether you're at one of our festivals or at home in the Cyberdome, we hope you like it as much as we do. And see you there. And a good morning to you in Dome Under in Melbourne, Australia. Greetings from the Dome Under Festival and from the Melbourne Planetarium here in Australia. I'm super excited to be joining these three other amazing festivals for the Best of Earth program. Um, and our thanks go out to Mickey Rimmond from the Yenna Full Dome Festival for inviting us to participate in this amazing global event. And we hope you have a fantastic time. Thank you. 19 Full Dome films have been nominated across the six categories of the Best of Earth Awards. An international jury of experts who are independent from the festival have watched these 19 films, discussed them, and decided who deserves the awards. This is the first time that a Best of Earth program has been shared and shown in four festivals. It's also the first time that a physical Best of Earth award has been created to honor the winners. It truly is a piece of art, and it's been specifically created for this occasion by Cosima Gipfelt. And here it is. Absolutely beautiful. This sculpture will be sent to the six winners who receive the Best of Earth Award, no matter where they live. And who are the six winners? Well, without further ado, I am excited to share that with you now. The Full Dome Award in the category Best Short Film goes to In the Land of Flabby Schnook by Francis Gilinas.
Congratulations. The jury has written a short statement that they would like me to share with you now. In the land of Flabby Schnook is a playful and creative exploration of those things that we fear might be lurking in the dark. The animation was accomplished and expressive, allowing the story to be told across the entire canvas of the dome. It was delightfully bright and vivid at times, contrasting with the surreal black and white imaginative silhouetted landscapes that the characters found themselves walking through. And now we're going to enjoy a short clip from the winner. <sighs> I don't like this. Shh. Our first challenge. Walk in the dark. Do what I do. Come on, now it's your turn. The Full Dome Award in the category Best Science and Education Film goes to Living Worlds by Ryan Wyatt and Cheryl Vanderbilt. Congratulations to the team at California Academy of Sciences. The jury has also wanted to share a short statement about our winner. And it is that the Living Worlds joins the Academy's outstanding education-oriented shows. The film connects our understanding of life and its evolution on Earth, adding intrigue regarding the possibility of life wherever in the universe based on the latest scientific findings. Starting with the only world with life that we know of, our Earth, it follows the trail of life's evolution on this planet and conveys detectable signatures of past which have been left behind. Life has profoundly shaped our planet. Living Worlds is a highly professional documentary film that incorporates recent findings and looks ahead to further research. The show impressively shows how life and the earth are intertwined, that we humans have a responsibility for nature. And now let's enjoy a short clip from Living Worlds. Billions of years ago, Mars harbored water on its surface and water circulated in its atmosphere. Mars was home to frigid lakes, perhaps even an ocean. Under the Martian surface, water likely flowed from the southern highlands to the low-lying northern hemisphere. And where we find water, we can hope to find life. Mars eventually lost its thick atmosphere and it couldn't support liquid water on its surface. But even though Mars today appears barren, dry, and cold, we can see signs of where water once flowed. And water could still hide underground. Could life beneath the Martian surface have been... The Full Dome Award in the category Best Art and Experiment Film goes to Suprematism, The Day Before, by Sergei Prokhiev.
Congratulations. The jury wants to share a short statement as well about this awardee. Suprematism begins by placing the viewer into a gallery exhibition and expands the concept of suprematism to a full dome experience. It does this by enhancing simple geometry and color by performing an extrapolation with evolving architectural movement and minimalistic sound composition. Organic paint strokes juxtaposed with the clinical crispness of a digital format connects the history of an art movement founded by painters in the early part of the 20th century. How fitting that art begets art in this experimental exploration of simple shape and sound, invoking a feeling in the audience heightened by the immersive context of the dome. As in the evolution of art movements, the cinematographic Dome Venue now becomes a new direction in motion media entertainment. Let's enjoy a short clip. The Full Dome Award in the category Best Full Feature Film goes to Legend of the Enchanted Reef by Peter Popp. Congratulations. The jury would like me to share a short written statement with you. The Legend of the Enchanted Reef, an animated full dome feature film, is the prequel to Kuluo Kahaina, The Enchanted Reef, already produced in 2004. Whereas in the first film, man's influence on the ocean was only indirectly part of the story, this prequel takes the dramatic situation directly as its theme a timely topic whose significance is beyond question. The oceans are becoming increasingly polluted, corals are dying, and the refuges for marine life continue to diminish. The film is not only highly professional in every respect, it is captivating in its message, which is not directed solely at children as an audience, but encourages families to engage with the topic of climate change and sustainability. Let's take a look at a short clip. Swimmer? I can't help it if you're so slow, you sea cucumber! Hit the reef, Shorty! <laughs> the Full Dome Award in the, in the category Best Student Film goes to A Toothless Grin by Christine Jakubik.
I'd like to now share with you a short statement from the jury. A Toothless Grin is a 360 degree piece of audiovisual poetry, an ode to the performative arts. Its choreography is dependent on the full dome medium and can be watched again and again to discover something new. Not only outstanding among the student submission, this piece was toted among several jury members as one of the strongest independent best short submissions. The cinematic technique, poetic approach, play of objects, soundtrack, and the captivity held by an audience throughout the piece is admirable. We're looking forward to seeing what comes from this independent filmmaker in the medium in the future. Let's enjoy a clip. that gapes and grins back at me. You are the purest, calmest, primordial form of nature. Now, press into a shadow of, of, flat simulation. The Full Dome Award in the category Special Jury Selection goes to Ayahuasca, Cosmic Do Journey Dome Experience by Agatha Di Tommaso. The jury would like to share a short statement with you. Ayahuasca Cosmic Journey merges the contemporary immersive full dome experience with the ceremonial healing traditions of the indigenous peoples of the Amazon. For millennia, ayahuasca, a psychoactive plant-based drug, has played a central role in social, medicinal, and spiritual rituals practiced by native Amazonian communities. This film takes the viewer on a representational journey to explore the deep entanglement which binds human perception, cultural heritage, and environment together. Prayer-like incantations interweave with sounds of the Peruvian jungle to create a rhythmic soundscape that simultaneously reflects internal, external, and imagined worlds. Visually, the film employs many compositional tropes that have become ubiquitous with the digital full dome experience. But in this instance, the digital composition is strongly anchored in its anthropological foundation. This affords an authenticity and resonance that is rarely found in the moving geometries of contemporary artistic full dome films. Let's take a look at a short clip. <laughs> Congratulations again to all of the award winners. Thank you. 
The team from Full Dome Festival Yena will ship your award sculptures to you, along with your official certificate. Congratulations and thank you to all of the artists and the producers who submitted their work to the Best of Earth contest this year. All 19 nominated shows are extraordinary examples of what immersive media and full dome shows can offer. It's definitely worth watching the complete Best of Earth selection, either in a planetarium like this one here, or in the 360 stream, which you can find wherever you may live. Thank you so much for joining, in this, joining us this evening for the Best of Earth Awards Ceremony. We're glad that you were able to join us from all over the world. We're happy to have been able to bring this to you live from the Zeiskos Planetarium here in Berlin. And we're thankful that we were able to work in cooperation with the support of Dome Fest West in Los Angeles, California, Full Dome UK in Plymouth, Full Dome Festival Jena, and Dome Under in Melbourne. I wish every one of you a wonderful rest of your day, evening, or morning, wherever you may be, and hope that you enjoy the rest of your festivals. Thank you again for joining us, and good evening. <laughs>